Okay. Another day of Final Fantasy 13 2. We really need a sentinel badly for Airbone. We get a good raptor here. I just remember that. If we did you were here, she would be making honky jokes about the pillowcase demons. Wow, that really doesn't make any sense out of context. Look, I just want a sentinel. Why is that too much to ask? <gasps> I got it! Perfect! Yes, that's what we wanted. Okay, now there's one other thing we want. Come on! I'm not made of Phoenix Downs, guys. I'm trying to get microphone to stop falling. Stop falling, I said. Why don't you listen? You're a microphone. That's all you're supposed to do. Why am I better at this game when I don't have a monster at my side? Oh shit! I was told there would be blue chocobos. I have not seen blue chocobos. Charles moves. For your viewing pleasure. I'm starting to think that something is preventing me from getting chocobos. That like, I have not met certain requirements to get chocobos. So I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna continue on with my life. Ever wondered how Moogles fly so fine in the sky? It's all thanks to our magic baubles, Koopo. They're made of crystal, Koopo, and they conjure up an anti-gravity field that never lets us down. Okay, now it's totally my headcanon that Graviton cores are Moogle baubles. I'm not particularly interested. Oh, but it is Christmas. Away. Oh, I failed. Idiot. Dang it. Idiot. Dang it. Idiot. Oh my god, it worked. While Sarah is the better Ravager Medic Saboteur, the way they always trade it off is that the other character gets better spells despite their lower stats that make them less effective. So like, Noel will get some good medic spells, but his magic stat won't be able to make them very effectual and you kind of need them both to be medics. Oh yeah, no, so the difference between Sarah and Noel is not the same as the difference between like Fang and Hope. They're fairly close in stats comparatively. As a result, they're not really super good at anything. It's my major complaint about this game is that I can't have stacked parties like I did in the last game where like I sacrifice health for serious stats kind of thing. And I miss it. It doesn't make the game any harder, it just makes it longer. These Mio Nectons and Chek Chelet Serata are so simple. I bet they're really easy to beat in the sequel as well. It's just a guess. I remember my first Mio Nekton in Lightning Returns. It was really tragic. I screamed. It was a very long battle. I was running around like Sarion on the very first night, like, oh, what's over here? Oh, what's over there? Oh, look at me and Ekton! Digi's like, oh man, me and Ekton on the first night. You think it's so easy? And I'm like, yeah, try doing it on normal mode. Ha 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 ha! Beat up the frag leech! Come on, guys, even Hope could kill a frag leech. La 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 la! Oh my god, this troll! I hate you, Caius. I hate having to fight you, Caius. This asshole right here has a move that I fucking cannot stand. It's called Chain Break. I don't know if he uses it this soon, but I fucking hate it. And you may think we just killed him. But he's got auto life. Don't forget that. Ooh, did we bust it open? Meaning that we now get... Don't you fall, Sarah. Seems like wherever I go, I leave this Graviton ore stuff in my steps. Are you killing Moogles? Guess that means I should keep walking, even if it doesn't get me anywhere. Snow, do you have like a really strong gravitational pull or something? Why are you shitting out Graviton cores? I will check it out in a bit. After I fight this Juggalo! Are you shaking your butt at me? Oh, you're running away? I'm so sad. I ran away and shook its butt at me. He's a butt. I'm not crying. Maybe after all this time, Hope has forgotten us. Forgotten you? Hope is the only one who doesn't forget. Hope really needs a friend. Okay, so Hope is a workaholic. I don't think he goes home. But what if you can't, Hope? Do you know who I am? It is possible. Although the idea raises even more questions. Yeah, like why you're talking to my boobs. Important relics have been detected nearby. Are you Marona? Any one of them might lead to an extraordinary discovery. You sound like Marona. Some people out there are saying she charmed her way into the position, but I don't buy it. You have to have brains to hold down that kind of job. 
Some people are misogynists. I think I basically just described the fandom's reaction to Alyssa. <laughs> Some people are misogynists. Oh, what? Say, Sarah. Hog is so creepy. I don't really know much about gambling or placing bets. And Sarah backs up out of the casino. <laughs> SPL says the Chocobo song should never have been sung. Oh, just wait, SPL. Just you wait. Mog is too damn sexy for this Clearwater Marsh. Noel, did you just do a snow move? Fuck my life. Fuck it. Just fuck it all. Fuck the Clearwater Marshes. Fuck the song! That's right, fuck this song! Fuck everything! I want a blue chocobo, and this game is denying me my right. This is my right! I have a right to have a blue chocobo! And fuck this, fuck this game, I'm done. I'm just fucking done! I sound American! I have news for you! Okay, we gotta find Cactarina. I don't know where it is. And away. Oh, hey, what the fuck? Okay, awesome. Woo. Is it Sarah? Sarah? Well, not exactly like me, of course, since I'm not human. What? This song is pretty epic. All the versions of Kai's theme are pretty epic. <laughs> Did you just use the words problematic and relationship with regards to Hope? Hope is not ready for a relationship. <laughs> he is a nerd, a workaholic, and he's a little bit obsessive. Yeah. Eat your heart out, Sephiroth! Rah, rah, rah! That song sucks! Oh my god, the game is exploding. Oh god, someone make it stop. Her mom is up there. Oh! What did they do with the body? Did you let's use Occam's razor and determine that they probably just dumped her off a ledge and let her fall a bajillion feet to the ground? Thank you for accessing the Academy Daylet. You're welcome, Unileska. Welcome. Do you realize what this means? The Academia Falci must have been built by Hope. Oh, good job, Hope. Yeah, Hope just casually creating Falci. What the fuck? I remember it like it was yesterday. Literally just saw her like two seconds ago. This place might be the most obnoxious map. Nope, I lied. Academia is the most obnoxious map. Help! It didn't show! <laughs> it didn't fucking show! What just happened? <laughs> well, we've got to do something. I don't know who we're going to save because we didn't get to see it. I mean, we all know how this cautionary tale is going to end when we learn that Hope was building a fucking foul sea. To his credit, at least it was Alyssa's idea, not his. Because if it was his idea, he just deserved a total smack up the head. Apparently what he deserves in this case is actually to be murdered, but whatever. In case you were wondering where the humanist metaphor is in this Final Fantasy game, it's Hope in the Academy. That is the humanist metaphor. Paradox! Everything's a paradox! You know, save it! The future! Ah! Eventually. Someday... You're downright adorable. You're downright adorable. Go out with me. Okay, we got a new fragment. Another Oracle of Etro. The seeress of the Farseers has left us many prophecies, but amongst them- Oh god, this one! <laughs> oh boy! Just sounds a little shippy, that's all I'm saying. It's huge. You're huge. These are my personal notes. I have research ideas and theories and all sorts of things in here. Do you have your shirt? Now I can get back to work. I'm not gonna shame you. Just, I'm this surprised by your outfit choice. I don't remember In this professional setting. This is huge! Thank you for your assistance! They are huge. What? Hello? Load the map. Load the map. Of course. Had to be you assholes. Really? Someone get in a fight. Oh my god. Apparently, both Alyssa and the director were victims of that unfortunate event. Why are you guys so gossipy? Even after death, she continues to pay for her mistake. Oh, no, no, no. Someone is walking around. A lot. 
Sarah? What the fuck are you doing, Sarah? I would try to, you know, talk and give commentary at this point, but everything in the chat is about shaping thighs. Like, yes, that's, that's a thing. It happens. I, I get it sometimes. I bet you Noel doesn't get any chafing. That's probably why he wears giant balloon pants. In 13 AF, the project director Hope S. Time was assassinated and the debate died with him. The proto C was eventually created with the fully functional ability to change humans into the C or C. That, like, implies that there were still humans who were on the fence about the it. <laughs> they make it sound like it wasn't the AI versus the humans, but that it was, like, the AI and some humans versus Hope's gang, and then they kill Hope, and then the other humans are like, Oh, well, you, you know, they killed Hope's dead. Maybe we should... <laughs> make the bell see that way. That's pretty funny. I don't think that's how it actually went, but it's funny. Pika needs to work out, and so she's decided that her Christmas present to all her friends is going to be homemade truffles. This is going to work out very well. No negative repercussions. I'm gonna make cookie dough truffles, I'm gonna make rum truffles, I'm gonna make curdled cheesecake truffles, and then just a plain old pure dark chocolate truffles. I'm gonna just fuck up everybody's holidays with 30 pounds of chocolate. It's gonna be great. Bye, Sarah! Uh, this game is ruining my exit. Noel doesn't think Kai's is behind this mayhem. Then who is? Maybe your giant lip that just exploded on the screen, Noel? This is just like a murder mystery! Oh, Sarah, you're my favorite. My favorite what? I'm not sure, but... You're, you're my favorite of it. I just really like throwing Mog, what can I say? Oh, and we have found it! Hope's murderer! I will take you down, sir! Oh god, there are two of you! Digi wants to mention the fact that those bulwark things are called dragoons, and therefore that means that Fang killed Hope. Good job! Good job, Fang! You've doomed us! Hope, why did you design this tower to be so damn fucked up? But We can do it! For Hope! For Alyssa! Academia. For Sparta! Why did it have to be a behemoth? Time for you to go away! For good! Great comeback, Noel. But we are going to pick one wrong answer, because I love it. You can do it! I will admit, when I first played this game, I accidentally chose the right answer the first time, thinking it was the wrong answer, but I really wanted to see it. Mom can't solve everything for this. Yes, he can. When you get mad? You sure do remind me of your sister. Be careful. She might be watching you now. <laughs> that all you've got? <laughs> Surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. We're gonna die, aren't we? Yep! I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down! Hope, you little shit! Hope! You can't just show up like, oh hi! 390 years! Bye! Like, what the fuck? Asshole! Explain yourself! Where do we find the Academy head office? Probably the most impressive looking Or, you know, wherever Hope just walked towards. One? How about the one that looks like Alexander? That's a good idea. Hope is probably man of the year every year in academia. <laughs> Do you sell gazelle greens? Where are they? The floating fortress is currently deserted and a number of academy research teams have been so wow, this sounds familiar. People have always looked to the sky for signs of hope. Noel, did you just do that? Really? We will have so much fun in academia when we return. Goodbye, everybody. I don't want your damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these?